Hello, I'd like to give you some feedback about the final project, the individual after action review done in a screencast-o-matic. First of all, I made notes as you came in with questions on what might be confusing on the project directions, and uh, I'll be making those corrections uh, when I go forward when I teach the course again. But I, I did appreciate the comments that I generally replied pretty fast not at nights and on the weekends, and that I phoned some of you uh, to talk to you on the phone. I appreciate that. I had a really enjoyable time watching and listening to your work. I'd like to kind of summarize some of the points you all made. Um, one individual commented how She'd not used telephone conversations in the past on individual projects, and that she found doing a phone call was a lot faster and easier to get things done quickly when compared to email or texting. Numerous people commented on the difficulty in time zone differences. And that is a regular business problem or issue that you will have to solve if and when you work on a team with a teammate in a different time zone. As you know, that was very common in my life, and it does take some adjustment. I did like someone's comment when he said, you have to be very deliberate in setting up schedules, getting out your schedule and looking at what your work schedule is compared to others. I also realize that there is an internet-based tool that you can easily go in and publish when you can meet on a broad, on a broad time frame. And I'm going to use that tool in the future, or at least make it available for those that would like to try to use it. Another teammate commented that they discovered that there were multiple ways to use communication, that it didn't have to be by uh, Google Hangout or Skype. Many and many of you mentioned texting, and I have a request. If you, when you see this, can just send me a short email, become 695 texting on the project and give me an example or two specifically how you used it. And I'd like to incorporate that in my future uh, directions to uh, course participants. You don't have to do it. If you can do it, that's pretty cool. Um, another uh, teammate suggested that rather than go back and forth, back and forth on emails, that he felt just using a Google Doc would have been a more efficient use of time when anybody can go up at any time, make changes and suggestions. So that was a good point, and I'll be making note of that in the future. A clear learning from several of you was if you don't hear back from someone, be proactive and get in touch with them. There were three teams that had a dysfunctional team member, and that individual uh, either had dropped out or dropped out after the team began or simply didn't communicate, which caused issues. I generally put these projects kind of after the beginning of the course in order to see who will drop out and who won't. But the time frame of letting me know uh, can be <laughs> not instantaneous. Um, don't make assumptions that other people will take the initiative. If you have an idea, you take the initiative and put it forward. Um, I had several people comment on that they had to ask questions and that they learned to ask questions early and frequently. And that's what you do generally in business. I enjoyed the comment from a team member that said technology is taking off and this is just the beginning of how things can be communicated in the future. I firmly believe 
that we are preparing you at Fort Hayes State University for jobs that may not have been created using tools that have not even been invented. And so that this is good to get your feet wet. Um, if you don't understand, others may not understand. So don't hold back on your questions. Uh, interesting comment that one person made that they, in previous projects, one teammate would take the lead and then suddenly this individual stopped taking the lead. And I suppose everybody was waiting for that individual to take the lead and that set them back a bit. Finally, be redundant in communications. If you don't get an answer, re-ask the question. If you're not sure, ask the question, either to your faculty member or to your teammates. Well, these were a lot of insights for me. I can see that they overall were a lot of insights for you. I hope you've enjoyed the project, and I hope you've enjoyed the course. But more about that later.